Hey folks, today I thought I'd share with you a fly that I kind of discovered and have been fishing with quite a bit. It's really been very, very effective for me and I'm calling it the see-through fly. This fly is very, very easy to tie, especially for beginners. Now I'm using Cahill Cream Skeeter Fuzz from the Fly Tires Dungeon. I tie this in a variety of sizes, um, all the way up to a 14 and down to a number 20 uh, with a tungsten bead and um, I'm using here 6 aught red and um, I've tied it with uh, other colors but I really like the red I think that fish really respond to the red you'll, you'll see at the end why So I'm basically tying this just like I would any midge, you know, just very, very simple, just getting coverage, um, making a bit of a thread dam up into the bead just to basically keep it in place, but super, super simple to tie. And I try to keep the bead in place, make sure that the thread's going underneath the bead, just make sure it stays off the eye and, and looks okay but it's not incredibly important if you're not getting this right you know basically you just want to cover it with thread and uh, hold the bead in place Now I'm going to dub with this uh, Skeeter Fuzz, which I think works amazingly well. Uh, I actually started to tie, uh, I actually found this by accident. I was using the Skeeter Fuzz uh, at the very top of the fly, just kind of as a collar. And because I didn't tie it down very well, it broke loose. And uh, it laid out across the fly, and the fish were very responsive to it. So I figured I'd try to emulate what actually happened. So this, this, uh, this dubbing is very, very, very fine, and it just kind of webs around uh, whatever um, uh, whatever your tying thread is. So uh, it, it's it makes for a great effect. So now that you get to the top, I just do a very simple whip finish. Now I like to put a just a little bit of uh, Loon Ultraviolet Cure on it just to basically give it some durability and make sure I don't have to put too many uh, uh, whip finish knots in the top. So now I'm just going to pull it out of the vise and just to kind of show you how it actually looks after you've been fishing a little bit. I'm going to just drop it in some water, just get it a little wet. And really, I think this is the effect. See how translucent it is? It, I think it really works well. Here's the fly after I fished a little bit with it. And here are some really pretty trout that I caught with it. Um, give it a try. It really is working great for me.